looks like we have a new free alternative to Cursor and Windsurf, as recently, GitHub Copilot has made a free new tier, making its Copilot fully accessible within VS Code, completely for free for anyone. Just take a listen to Satya, the CEO of Microsoft, talking about the integration of GitHub Copilot within VS Code. We're introducing GitHub Copilot free in VS Code. It's a real game changer. With Copilot Free, you can use chat to explain code entirely in natural language. You can build with multiple models, selecting the one that works best for you. You can render edits across your files with multi-file edits. You can access Copilot's third-party ecosystem of agents. And of course, you can generate code completions, the core function that started the entire Copilot platform shift. And like you heard what Satya had said, there is a new free tier where you can access GitHub Copilot without any sort of cost. But this is something that comes with a certain restriction. It's not 100% free where you have 100% access to GitHub Copilot without any sort of restriction. You have an access up to 2000 code completions and 50 chat messages per month. And after every single 30 month period, you will then have all of these different features reset back to zero. For the people who do not know what GitHub Copilot is, it's an AI coding assistant that provides real-time suggestions, generates text, and documentation where you can perform multi-file edits and integrate with popular tools, which is going to streamline development with natural language commands. It's practically an AI editor that you can access through your IDE. The great part of having VS Code as your IDE is that you can easily have it integrated within it where you don't even need to install an extension as you can easily open up the chat for GitHub Copilot. And you can see over here that it has been fully integrated within VS Code's IDE thanks to the partnership with Microsoft and GitHub. Now, if you do not have the latest update of VS Code, you can obviously go ahead to the extension tab and go ahead and install the GitHub Copilot. And you can install the chat for it as well so that you can easily access it within the IDE. And if you do not have VS Code installed, I'll leave a link to this in the description below so that you can install it for your operating system. Now, what's insane is that for being a free tier, offering this many different features is just insane because you have the ability to have up to 2000 real-time code suggestions being inputted to you, as well as 50 messages. But on top of that, you have web searching capabilities, multi-file edits, as well as explaining and debugging your code, which is just really helpful. And this isn't just restricted to a low tier model. You get access to Anthropic's Cloud 3.5 Sonnet or OpenAI's GPT-4 Omni model. So this way you get the best of the best models for free when you use it with GitHub Copilot. The best way to access GitHub's Copilot is gonna be through VS Code, but you also have an option to access it through GitHub's Web Copilot. So this way you can do all the same features, but on the web to showcase more of what you can do with this GitHub free tier, you have the ability for multi-file editing, which is something I stated, but this is something that is truly revolutionary because it is a significant enhancement for developers who are working on complex projects. It's a feature that will allow you to apply changes across multiple files simultaneously, which is going to save you a lot of time and it's going to also reduce the risk of inconsistencies. So this is something that you can use up up to 50 requests, which is definitely more than enough for smaller tasks. Just like Windsurf and Cursor has a full project awareness feature, GitHub Copilot has the same sort of capability where you can tag multiple files, folders, and provide context to the AI so that it could understand your entire code base. And then you can obviously have the AI chat with the whole code base as well. This is a feature that you probably don't know, but GitHub Copilot can also generate commit messages based off of your code changes. And this is something that will be easily viewable through VS Code, where you have clear and descriptive documentation of your version control, which is something many of the other IDEs do not have. GitHub can also intelligently rename variables across your project. So this can ensure consistency and accuracy, which is going to save you a lot of effort for manual updates. There's also many smaller features where you have the ability to speak with the Copilot with a speech extension, leveraging Copilot capabilities into your terminal, and so many other smaller things that are written within this documentation, which I definitely recommend that you take a look at. Like Vision, 
this is something that we've seen with windsurf but this is a really cool feature integrated within your editor but there's so much more to this and now we're going to be taking a look at it further in detail as we showcase a couple of demos live in action so to get started you can open up vs code with the latest installation and you should see the github extension and like i mentioned previously if you do not have it go over to the extension tab and install it but you essentially you'll see the github copilot logo on the top right uh, beside the search tab once you click on it you have two main components you have the ask copilot feature as well as the edit with copilot feature and within these two components the main difference is that the Ask Copilot feature is a conversational interface that allows you to chat and ask questions. And it's essentially something that you can have the AI fulfill your request and help with natural language. And then in terms of the edit with Copilot, you have the ability to access many of the other features like multi-files editing. You have the ability to provide real-time code suggestions and even completion at a type directly feature in your editor. For example, with the edit with Kofala interface, you can ask things like, please help me on improving this code snippet in terms of utilizing the debugging feature. And essentially, you can even tag multiple files in this area where you can click on add files and it will basically provide context to the AI in helping you analyze the current section. So in this case, you can see it's going to work on generating edits and you can see it is making the changes live in line and this is the capability that you get with the edit with copilot interface and obviously with the ask copilot you have the ability to ask questions in this case you can ask it on what is something that you can do to improve this or have it explain certain sections of your code snippet so in this case i did that and you can see right away it's providing me a good explanation on all of these different lines of code and like I mentioned at the start, you have the ability to choose between these two models, GPT-4 Omni and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, which is the new preview model. And in this case, you also have the capability of even starting a voice chat where you can talk with AI. Showcase the microphone feature. Let's actually chat with the AI. Hi, could you please generate a front-end application for a step tracking application? So you can see the request has been sent in and we can see it is going to now define the requirements. It's going to create the workspace or it's going to create the template for me. You can click on create workspace, select a parent folder. And once that is done, it's going to work on creating the files. So you can see all the different changes being made live. And you can see that the application was fully generated. When you click underneath the step tracker folder, you can see all the different changes that were made. So now we're going to go ahead and start this up to see how it basically looks. And what's cool to see is that this copilot is going to be also able to execute terminal based commands, which is also really helpful. And now if you have to click on our local host, we should see the application created. And just take a look at this app that it was capable of creating. This is a daily step tracker app where you can track your calories as well as the distance in kilometers for the amount of steps. And it actually accurately uh, describes how many calories were burnt for 2000 steps so this is a really great way for you to actually visualize your progress as well and it just goes to show how easy it was to create this app obviously it's left skewed in this web page it should be in the middle but we can go back into the copilot and fix that if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. And that's about it for this new update for GitHub's Copilot with this new free tier. This is definitely something that you should take a look at and get access towards because it is completely free and it will definitely help you out on the development side. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. This is definitely a great new free alternative that is on par with Cursor, V0, as well as both. So definitely recommend that you try this out. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to get up-to-date AI subscriptions that are given to you on a monthly basis for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up-to-date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. 
But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.